Hi, and welcome to our What Sold video for March 31st through April 6th. If you're new here, my name is Wendy, and this is Kevin, and we are Nina's Jewels. Before we get started, we are going to show a few disclosures on the screen about our business. And we're back. <laughs> All right, let's dive into what sold this week. If you missed our last week's What Sold video, check that out because it explains some things that were going on in our personal lives that have affected our sales for the past couple of weeks. Yeah. That has definitely affected our sales this week. Our sales are way down. That is because we have not been able to focus much on listing at all. We have not listed anything for like Nothing. two weeks. Nothing. So sales are definitely affected by that. If you want to find out the story behind why we haven't been able to list, that is in our previous What Sold video. All right, well, let's dive in to what we did manage to sell, which all things considered, not bad. Okay, the first thing that sold was a pair of women's Cole Haan Grand OS black suede peep toe sling back heels. These were found in the Goodwill bins. We paid 67 cents for them and they sold for $27 and 18 cents. Next up was a vintage 1984 U2 Pride 45 single record. We got this at a garage sale for $3.28. I mean, technically we didn't pay $3.28 for this, but when we bought at this garage sale, we purchased everything in bulk and then I just took the Split amount that we out. paid and the number of items that we got at the sale and split them all up equally. So we wouldn't have paid 328 for a 45. Yeah. So technically, I mean, they probably like said like, oh, that's 50 cents or something like yeah. that. But we just did it as a bulk buy and I divided everything out equally. So um, this sale worked out a long time ago. This particular item, like the profit on the spreadsheet didn't uh, seem like very much, but trust me, this sale was well worth it. So on the spreadsheet, it says we paid $3.28 for this and it sold for $12 even. Next up was a lot of three miniature, three inch Venetian masquerade Mardi Gras masks for, they were like the size for like a doll or bear or something like that. Yeah. Or you could three, use them for like inches. a decoration. Yeah. We found these in a storage unit, and when we purchased a storage unit, we have already spent the money on the unit, so any item that we find in that unit that is in usable, good condition, that we don't consider to be trash, or you know, if it smelled bad, or had stains, or was torn, or something like that, then we would just throw it away. But if it is usable, we will generally list it, because we've already invested the money in it, we already own it, it's already a sunk cost. We're generally going to list it and see what we can get out of it. We're not snobby. We're not snobby. <laughs> Plus it keeps it out of the landfill. There's many, many, many reasons why we like to list items. So this is an example of one of those items. This is not something that we would actively pick up from like a garage sale or something like that, but it came out of a storage unit and we already owned it. Well, let me clarify. We're not snobby about listing low value items. Yeah. I mean, I wear very fancy clothes. Though. She's very snobby. Okay. So this we paid, where am I? 28 cents for out of the storage unit and it sold for $10. So, I mean, I don't know if it was worth my time, but I'm glad I did it. Kept it oh, out of the yeah, landfill. We made three bucks. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. This big. That's what I, mean, I think. Took up no I mean, space. you little... do things the way you want to do them. I like doing it you this do way. You. Yeah, you do you. I'll do me. Okay, next up was a Maker's Mark bourbon whiskey cotton bandana. We got a huge bag full of these. How many do you think were in that bag? 20, 25, maybe. Oh, really? Only that many? I think maybe 30. There ish. were a lot. And there were quite we. A few have barely have any left like two or three left very low we found these in the bins for a dollar and 18 cents each and this one sold for eight dollars and 48 cents and there's another spreadsheet math we didn't pay a dollar 18 each for them they weigh like yeah we probably paid a quarter tops each. yeah but we just spreadsheet yeah because we were splitting things up explain spreadsheet math you know spreadsheet math like if you spend a hundred dollars on 10 things and one of them was actually like $12 and the other one was only like a quarter, but you just split it up and say they were all $250. Yeah. Spreadsheet math. Yeah. 
because we want to assign a cost of goods to each item. Yeah. But we're doing that not for like tax purposes. All of our tax accounting um, information is kept in our accounting software. The spreadsheet we use more for our own purposes to kind of keep track of like what sells well, how we do at different categories, how we do at different types of like, do we do better at garage sales? Do we do better at rummage yeah. sales? Do we do better at the bins? So that's kind of where we're keeping track of like our statistics on our business. Yeah. And so we do want to keep track of a cost of goods on there, but it's not really for true accounting purposes. It's not purposes. always. Most of the time it's the actual cost of goods, but it's not always the but actual But sometimes cost. it's a little fudged because it's like an average cost. If it's from the bins, it's never the actual cost of yeah. goods. So that's what we mean when we say spreadsheet math. Yeah. Okay, next up was a Dynasty Major League Baseball men's all-stars gray button front Texas Rangers jersey. We got this at a garage sale for $2 and it sold for $15.98. I don't know why that was. Sometimes jerseys are much more It wasn't valuable, a great jersey. I think it was, it was just like a cheap. It was a cheap, cheap it was a yeah, cheap, cheap jersey. mediocre kind of jersey, yeah. Next up was a vintage 1970 Mattel Barbie Gypsy Spirit pink chiffon gold bodysuit. This had damage to it, like it had a elastic waist and the elastic was out of half of the waistband. But this was a vintage 1970 Barbie piece and so it still had some value. We did not have any cost associated with it. It was gifted to us to sell by a family member. Came out of that Barbie bag of um, that bag of Barbie clothes. We've been selling for the past few weeks. Exactly. And it sold for $12.68. So still worth it. Next up was the vintage Daddy Long Legs Daddy's Babies Hispanic five and a half inch porcelain day baby. I could, despite ex exhaustive searching. Super, you'll see the picture. It's super, it was super, super creepy, creepy looking. Super Real, creepy. I don't even think the the photo does justice to how no, creepy it looking really it was because it actually looked kind of cute in the photo, but in person it was like a really scary looking doll. <sighs> yeah, it was it was creepy looking, but um, and it, it did have really long, unusually long legs. It was a weird looking doll. Anyway, I exhaustively searched for the name of this doll and I could not figure it out. It was a really hard to find rare doll, but this whole collection is called Daddy Long Legs, and based on my research this particular collection and they're not all babies. They have adult dolls, like adult dolls. Does that make sense? No. Um, dolls of adults. Yeah. They're not all just like little babies. Some of the dolls are of like adult figures, like the parents of the babies. Some of them are like family collections, stuff like that. But this whole collection of daddy long legs dolls is valuable and sought after. So that's something to be on the lookout for. They're hard to miss. They're creepy. Yeah, they are. They're hard to miss and they're hard to find. Anyway, I found two of these in the Goodwill bins. We decided to leave one behind because it had damage to the porcelain. I almost wonder if we should have picked it up. Had they we were known so, that how valuable yeah. they were, we probably would have picked that one up and just sold it as is. Yeah, sold them as a lot or something. Anyway, uh, we had gotten that recently, very recently, out of the bins, and we had paid $0.45 cents for it. It sold immediately for $39.99. Like, like next day. Yeah, like the next day. I think I listed it that day, and it sold that night, maybe. Maybe. Okay, next up was a Magic the Gathering card. This is one of his personal cards. It was called, how do you say that? Baron Singer. Mm, sounds fancy. Baron Singer. Yes. <laughs> oh, that sold. Oh, wow. That was a cheap card, though. That sold for only $8.78. Yeah, it was just a common that wasn't like a really hard to find one. Okay, next up was a lot of 18 scrapbooking sets and different scrapbooking items. These were all new in the package. We had picked these up at various times, primarily from the Goodwill bins, and they did not sell. We had them all listed individually. They did not sell for a very, very, very long like time. Like three years or something. Yeah, a long time. They were destined for a garage sale, so. Yeah, so this year when we did our annual inventory, I just lotted them all together and did them as a lot. We, Sold them for $21.50. Our cost of goods was $10.64. So we did lose a little bit of money on that, but 
we were just trying to recoup what we could on those instead uh, of just another goodwill them. outlet. It's probably spreadsheet math. We probably broke even on that. Yeah. Yeah. We were just glad to get rid of those. But we just wanted them gone because yeah. they took up a lot of space and we just didn't want them anymore. Yeah. They weren't selling. No. They weren't selling. Okay. Next up was a pair of Nike Flex Fury toddler athletic shoes. These came from a thrift store for $3.50 and they sold for $13.59. She's got a weakness for buying toddler I Well, I did, shoes. but I've learned my lesson. Even though toddlers can't run. I Yeah, I've learned my lesson. I don't do it anymore. But she buys them anyway. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Okay, next up was a Disney Tsum Tsum mini plush stuffed Sleeping Beauty horse. And that came out of a Goodwill blue box, a Goodwill blue box that was all plush. We paid $2.19 for each of the plush that came out of that box. This one sold for $9.99. Again, we would have never paid $2 for a Tsum Tsum. No. no. <laughs> but we did get our money back out of that. Goodwill yeah, we got our box. money in. Yeah. And we made two bucks on this thing, but we wouldn't have paid. I'm just saying yeah. our cost of goods was high. We would, it that would have been high. something I would have paid a quarter for. Oh, yeah. so. I don't think I would have ever picked it up. Probably wouldn't have picked it up. It was up. fun. It was, you know, every once in a while we buy a Goodwill blue box just for fun. Just for fun. Uh, Goodwill blue boxes are like curated boxes from Goodwill where they put, they have different categories of boxes and they put items of that like theme. Like this one was a plush box, so it had all plush in it. And they're supposed to be like better quality items. You pay, you know, whatever the cost is. I think the plush boxes were maybe like $29.99. And you're, you get like a certain number of items as advertised in that box and it gets delivered to your house. So that's what that's Although are. I haven't really noticed a high quality in the boxes of stuff we've gotten. From yeah, the they're box. not super high quality, but it's still fun. So we do it it's, every once do in it a while for just for fun, yeah. just to have an unboxing, just to yeah. see you know, what's going on with Goodwill Blue Boxes One of these, these days, days, we're gonna get something good. One of these days, one of these days. Okay, next up was an Ertl John Deere green farm trailer manure spreader. Mm. Mm. So that came out of the Goodwill bins. We paid $1.18 and it sold for $13 even. Next up was a Polaroid Snap Instant Digital Camera. We tested it and it worked. This came from a garage sale where we... The filler bag. The, so. Yeah, it was a filler bag garage sale, filler kitchen trash bag for $10. We had paid $0.34 cents for each item at that sale, and that sold for $39.99. That's a good one. Next up was a lot of five men's 3X cargo and Bermuda shorts. These were gifted to us to sell by a family member, so we had no cost, and this lot sold for $45 even. Nice. Next up was a vintage 1970-71 Mattel Barbie Mod bright and brocade pair of pink and gold pants, and it had one shoe from that outfit. And it did need some TLC. The pants had some, I think they had an issue with the waistband and they had some kind of um, like run, they had some runs in the sheer fabric. Mm. So that was in the Barbie bag of clothes. We had no cost and that sold for $19.99 still. It was a hard to find outfit. Next up was a vintage Mattel California Dream Barbie Ken outfit. It was the shirt and the shorts. It did have some dinginess. You'll see we included that right in the title. This also came out of the Barbie bag. We had zero cost on that and it sold for $10 even. Next up was a women's Hudson brand white v-neck organic cotton long sleeve t-shirt. It was new with the tags. This was actually mine. And I got this because we were traveling and we were flying and our luggage was lost. And so I had to buy some clothes. This was one of we the items that I bought. We had to do a I mad bought. dash. Yeah, we had like a 30 minute period before we were embarking on a cruise where we had to like run into a department store and I had to buy a bunch of clothes. And this was one of the items that I bought. I ended up not wearing this one. And the airline reimbursed us for everything that we purchased. We ended up getting our luggage back on like day four of the cruise at one, on one of our ports. So everything ended up But we thought we were going to have out. to live on 
what we were buying in that yeah. 30 minutes. So it was very stressful. It was so stressful. It was so, it was like super And most stressful. of it we actually used and kept, but yeah, yeah. But a couple this of one, things. This one we didn't, but I didn't have any cost with this because the airline ended up reimbursing And we weren't me. returning it to Canada. <laughs> no, we weren't going back to Vancouver anytime soon. So I ended up selling this online like any reseller would. And it sold for $32.99. It was actually a little big on me because I didn't try any, we didn't have time for me yeah, to we try didn't anything have on. Time for actual yeah, fit. Yeah. Uh, at this time, I'm going to pause for a moment and invite you to subscribe to our channel. If you have not subscribed already, you can unpause. And also, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, we have a. Oh. Special eight ball. I picked that up at the bins. That we found in the bins. If you see our, if you've seen our last bins video, you will see where Kevin picked this item up. I got it just because I always liked having, I always liked these. But we're going to incorporate, we're going to try to incorporate this into every what sold video. We're going to ask the eight ball a question. Oh, what each was the time. question this time? Did you already have a question? So the question for this time will be will our sales pick up next week? Mm. Yes, definitely. <gasps> that's Yay. good. Thank goodness. That's because good. if you see what the totals are this week, yeah, that's very good. It's pretty good. bad. Yeah. But you can submit your eight ball question for us to ask the eight ball next week by commenting below. Let us know what question you would like us to ask the eight ball, and maybe your question will get selected for our next video. We'll ask the all seeing, all knowing magic eight ball. Yeah, the magic eight ball. All right, let's move on. Okay, the next item was an Oregon Trail 25th Anniversary Limited Edition Windows CD. So this was software for a PC. We found this at a garage sale for a dollar. It was the disc only. We didn't have the case or anything. And it sold for $7.98. We got good feedback on that like day before yesterday. Next up was a Coles Jr.'s Blush Pink Tie-Dye ACDC Band Ribbed Tank Top. It was new with tags. This was actually gifted to us to sell. We had no cost and it sold for $17 even. Next up was a pair of women's lugs boots. These were hiking boots. These were gifted to us to sell by a family member. We had no cost and they sold for $26.38. Next up was a 1989 where there's a will, there's an there's A. An a. <laughs> this was a VHS set with a parent's manual to help your kid get better grades. It was designed for elementary school kids. We found this at our most recent trip to the Goodwill bins. When we and got the eight ball. Yeah, when we got the eight ball, when we got the, the creepy, baby. creepy baby doll. And this was the second item to sell. After Honestly, the creepy we, baby made, doll. we only paid like $26 that whole day yeah. at the bins. So yeah. The creepy baby doll made all the money back. It's true. And then everything else is profit from yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, and just as a tip for this thing, because this uh, VHS set, if you have an old VHS set you're listing, I test everything because I don't want to sell it if it's not working. So I always try and take a picture of whatever the coolest still frame I can find from the VHS is and put that as an, so what like was a the secondary coolest picture. image you could find from There this were no video. cool pictures in this video. It was just a guy so talk, talking in front of a podium. There were no cool pictures from this There video? weren't, but I put a picture of the guy talking on, in the podium huh. so that you could, they could see what the tape actually looked like, what yeah. the content. But always try and do that, especially if it's something. It does help itself. Like a Barney or something. Or if it's yeah. like we had a massage VHS set yeah. one time and it, it was, was really, really weird creepy and creepy and, and 70s -y. yeah and he, just the picture was really like uh -huh. so yeah that it, i think that helps make it sell yeah i think it helps make vhs sell in general and it shows them that it actually works because they can see true the still frame and they get an idea of what they're just buying my two cents. if they didn't know already yeah that vhs we had paid 45 cents for each of the items at the bins that day and it sold for our full asking price of 24 dollars 99 pretty quickly and also another tip um that was just a brown cardboard box in the bins if you're if you've never shopped the bins 
if you come across like a grocery bag or Always a look inside brown everything. cardboard bag, a suitcase, yeah. you know, we open everything in the bins. I've found lots of like computer peripherals inside yeah. computer bags. That's where you find the good stuff. That's, yeah, you got to really look. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay, next up was another item we found in the bins, but it was from a previous trip. We got a big stack of these Tannerite stickers. Uh, I mean, over 100 Tannerite stickers. We still have about 90. We do. They have not been flying off our shelves, but they do sell but at a steady pace. Sell, yeah. So we had paid 67 cents for each one, and this one sold for $7.99. And it goes eBay standard, so we made like five fifty. Yeah. Okay, next up was a toner cartridge. This one, all we have a bunch of toner cartridges that we got from a local. A long time a local, ago. Did I just say local? We have a bunch of toner cartridges. Local. We have a bunch of toner cartridges that we got from a local toner, like remanufacturing toner cartridge where they refill the toners. And so they're not like branded toners, no, they're, they're uh, refilled. But anyway, we got a great deal on all of them. So we sell them every once in a while and, you know, make money on them. Although I would never buy them again because they move they take extremely up, slow. They move slowly and they take up a lot of space. And they take up a massive amount of space. No, I wouldn't buy them again either, but, you but know. But we are, we're almost we powered through most of them We now. have and we do, we do make money on them. Yeah. So this one we had paid $3.19 on it and it sold for $39.99. Next up was a 16 inch Jelly Cat Teddy Bear. It was new with the tags, but one of the tags was torn in half. Mm -hmm. So that's why it says read in the title. We found this at the thrift store for $2.16. It sold for $39.98. Next up was a pair of Sonic Restaurant Swag Shop Multicolor Stripe Satin Shoelaces. I had hard to find in the title because I couldn't find them anywhere. I had the only pair of Sonic Swag Shop shoelaces that I could find anywhere. We found these in a storage unit. We paid 28 cents for them and they sold for $10.38. We got good feedback on that. And we got good feedback on that jelly cat, the last thing. That's good. I'm just, because I see all the feedback. Next up was a Funko Pop Disney Ralph Breaks the Internet Fix It Felix vinyl figure. It was loose, not in the box. We found this in a thrift store toy bag. We paid 22 cents for it and it sold for $7.98. Next up was another item that came from our recent Goodwill trip. This was a pair of Vassaret black floral lace high cut panty hose. They were brand new in the box. Vintage hosiery can be pretty valuable, so it's worth picking up if you find it for the right price. We paid 45 cents for these and they sold very fast for $22 even. Next up was a direct TV. AC adapter. We found it in the bins one day because it was direct TV branded. We picked it up. We paid 61 cents for it. Took a long time to sell, but eventually sold. We got for this $7. a long time ago. We wouldn't really pick up a direct TV thing like this anymore. No. This was old pickers yeah. <laughs> before we knew as much what we were doing. Maybe. But we got rid of it. Yeah. We sold for $7.98. Made 14 cents. But we got rid of it. We made 14 cents. We made 14 cents. Yeah. It's contributing to our income. And actually, I think we got good feedback on that as well. Yeah. Well, we recently lowered the price on it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To you know, get, we were just trying just to get to rid get, of it. To yeah, to get rid of it. Okay, next up was a PGA Tour men's extra large solar block crew neck long sleeve shirt. So this is a long sleeve shirt that has the solar um, UPF. SPF. Yeah, yeah. Sun protection in it. It was new in the package. We got this during retail arbitrage. We paid $4.06 for it, and it sold for $26.64. Next up was a Tim Holtz Ideology nine pack of miniature tiny vials. They were new in the package. We got these at a garage sale for 50 cents and they sold for $9.43. I will tell you that this brand, Tim Holtz Ideology, we sell everything up. we get multiple things by this brand and they have all sold really well. This particular item took a long time to sell, but other things that we've picked up went by really this fast. brand went really fast and we, you know, made decent money on it, but it, they just sold really fast. So I don't yeah. know what it was about it, but this one did take a long, long time to sell. Okay. Next up was a Chat May four inch soldier force green beret action figure. We found this in a thrift store toy bag for 19 cents and it sold for $8. Next up was a 
pair of Barbie and clone Western cowgirl boots. We found these at a garage sale for 50 cents. Not out of the Barbie bag. Not out of the Barbie bag. And they sold for $10.50. Next up was something that did come out of the Barbie bag. This was a 2002 Mattel four-piece lot of Barbie Mycene first wave doll clothes. We had no cost on this, and it sold for $17.98. We have sold so much Barbie in the past month. I know. It's like, like half Barbie our sales have been Barbie. <laughs> so easy. This stuff, it's so nice. It's very small. It you was fit not it in easy, tiny though. place. It was hard to do. It was hard. But the pictures are really easy because yeah. they're just small. And then you package them up and put them in your bin, and it's really small. Everything's small, and shipping them, it's small. It's great. Yeah. It's great. It was hard. Except though. for the research. Yeah. But that's her problem. <laughs> okay. Next up was a men's Atari Japanese short sleeve graphic t shirt. We found this in a storage unit for 24 cents and it sold for $11.98. It took a long time to sell that and I really thought that would sell faster. They have it on it Amazon. Was, that's uh, why. It, yeah. was, it was a pretty cool looking shirt. Though. And last up was a pair of women's Lena Ballet flat. Crocs shoes. We found these at a thrift store for $4.31 and they sold for $21.24. That wraps up all of our sales, so let's go over the totals. We had a total number of sales of 35 this week. Which is low. Very low. And our average sale price dipped below 20, which, which is low. Is very low. It was $18.84. Our sales totaled $659.56, mm. making for a very measly net profit of $324.34. It's weeks like these. I'm really glad that we don't survive off of eBay money. Yeah. That would be bleak. It would be. But again, we didn't list a single thing for like two weeks. We didn't. And we weren't here. So. Power list. Yeah. But the... Benefit also of being your own boss is that we were able to stop and focus completely and, on family and go to the hospital to, and go. So. Yeah, and I like she's normally here with my mother while I'm at work. Yeah, but I was able to stay at home with my mother while she was staying at the hospital. So yeah. we have that ability, which a lot of people don't. So yeah. and if we you don't, don't know take what we're granted. talking about, you can check out the last video. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for joining. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.